two. And there's the man of the hour himself, Mr. Santa Claus. Put your hands together. Uh, Santa's gonna lead the meeting all for us with uh, who's got a deal, uh, say a prayer, give some house rules and things like that. And uh, we appreciate him helping us out and all that he does. He runs the breakfast meetings. He's been investing for how many? 30 years. 30 years. Boom. And uh, so uh, anyway, so go ahead and start us off. All right. Yeah, I'm the <laughs> I have a prayer. I'm most kind of gracious to have a follow Lord, thank you for the opportunity for us to join together with my investors and friends. And to be able to work with each other, to help each other, to help other people. We ask these things, Christ's name, amen. Well, welcome, everybody. Has anybody got a deal? Do they want to sell? I can't wait. You got one? I didn't want to sell. I want to sell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I, I got a, a single wide mobile home in 2005. I own a shingle roof. So um, we got it. I've done a lot of work, quite a bit of work on it. I paid 26000 for it. And, uh, but if I finish it, it'll be 36 So it's getting close to that. So uh, if anybody has an interest in that, you're welcome. I've also got a piece of land I put a double wide on or a short double wide, and I don't know what that price is going to be yet, but if you have an interest in something like that, just give me a call. And uh, if you don't know my number, it is 843-870-4400. Thank you. Or get one of my sign cards and keep up with it, okay? <laughs> All right? Uh, you got something you want to sell? Somebody got something? Not right now. Not right now. We've got them all sold. You got something you want to sell? No. <laughs> you ain't ready? Everything's on the market. Everything's on the market already. Okay. All right. Um, Arvin, anybody got looking for something in particular? They want to buy. Tell me something. Single, single family, uh, wholesale Somebody give him a microphone, please. Single family, wholesale All right. What about it? That's what I'm looking for. Single family. Oh, you're looking for a family in the back. All right. You don't have to get them if you don't want to. Um, but if you want to. Okay. Three bedroom, two bath. Three bedroom, two bath. All right. Um, Anywhere except outside of the rule. I mean, I'm not ready for this. Okay. So, some of the little lights in the bush tree. Okay. Uh, what's that for them now? Okay. Okay. I'm, looking for, I'm looking for land. Anything over about 0.7 acres, preferably more like an acre, um, on a main road within about an hour of here but on the kind of the outskirts of town. So not rural, but not well inside town either. Tell them who you are and what your phone number is. Oh, good point. I'm Forrest. Uh, my phone number is Forrest Sheely. My phone number is 843-870-5875. That's 843-870-5875. Okay. And I'm Jay, last name Burnell, uh, 919-761-0000. Okay. 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 So if anybody has an owner-occupied mobile home, they want to pull on some land, it's in Monk's Corner. Um, it's um, 350 lot rent. Um, so just give me a call, Susan, 843-437-2179. Okay. <laughs> Susan. Susan Key. There you go. All right, anybody else got time? 
If you got something that you want that you're not sure about and you like to work it and like that, well, some of us can help you with it. We'd be glad to do that. Um, my name is Lenny. Uh, I was invited here by a guy named Rocky, but he's not here. <laughs> He'll show up. <laughs> um, I'm looking for, this is my first time, I'm looking for uh, knowledge and investor and partner like Santa did yes. for Mobile Home. <laughs> yeah. I think that's, that's more that's, enjoyable. That's my specialty, mobile homes and uh, mobile home parks and that kind of stuff. I think I, I'll do anything though on any other properties too, but I, that's my specialty. I did have some lots in the rural, maybe it's not in the main street for Boris yet. It's in San Stephen. Okay. Um, it's qualified for mobile home uh, because the zone is like flex zone. Thank you. All right. My phone number is 8438 704415. Don't forget. <laughs> Does anybody want to help them work a deal? We will do that. That's something we do with our group. We have seven meetings a month. Uh, breakfast meeting every Tuesday morning, 9 30. I hop at um, May 6th. Drive which is right by Cracker Crack Barrel and Interstate. So we there at 9 30 and chill. And uh, we have a great time. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> um, and then on the second Tuesday night, we have our main meeting, which is this, and this is where we'll be. On the third Tuesday night, we got uh, Susan runs the ladies' meeting, and they meet at um, Near Bread at uh, Tanger Mall. And that's ladies only, guys. Don't go. <laughs> and then the last uh, Saturday every month, we do a caravan. So uh, that's, that's what we do. And our membership is $300 a year. And uh, you get two free visits. Or pay $20 for it until you find out whether you like us. You won't like that $20 by the time we have every meeting. <laughs> Just keep it on because it would be a lot cheaper to pay for $300. And we can talk to Susan about how she wants to work and how you want to work. All right? Then questions on what we do? Well, it's quite proud. Come on, Abigail, tell us something. Please. <laughs> You know, I have nothing. That's what I knew. Bring in more stuff. I'm sorry? Bring in more for you, though. Next one was. Oh, I don't He said next meeting will have something. Huh? He said next time. Oh, next time. Okay. I am bailed out. Is that a gold letter? Okay. Yeah. Hey, Santa Claus. Um, with these meetings, what all, what all the tales besides eating for? Thank you. And these meetings that we are having, uh, we were wondering what all entails besides eating. Like, is it going to be we jump the boy and eat and what happens? Can you can do a little closer, Oh. No, or something. Something I'm missing. Something. Go ahead. So yeah. what happens with these meetings? Like, when we come and we eat and we fellowship together? Like, we talk about? We do all of that. And even tonight after we do our presentation, we want you to mingle with it. other people who so know them. The way you you can learn and find a team of people you can work with. And about everybody in here is willing to work with somebody, you know. And uh, but we do have coaching for people at the moment, mentorship, but it's not through the tri camp. We don't do any of that. And, and then as an individual, if you want to do what I want to do, how I like to do it, I'd be willing to carry you through the program. That kind of thing. If I got the time, because it's a real lot of time. But I will share a deal with you. Okay. That way, I'll share the profits. How awesome. about that? <laughs> that sounds very <pretty> nice. <laughs> Thank and, you. Uh, uh, we have just a lot of people in here will help you do that. Okay? Thank you. Um, while you're here, 
that uh, before we decide as a member, mm -hmm. is there any limit to come to the to the breakfast or after everything that we have? Everything. Yeah. So we only qualify three for two times now. This is my first time. Okay.
having done a lot of flippings um, and uh, but what I love, really love to do and what I'm doing right now is assisting you facilities five beds or less, I love to do that. That's, that's my way to give it back to, to the community. Uh, can everybody hear me well? Yeah. Uh, awesome, awesome. So, um, I used to be part of a different association and Santa came and asked me to help him on this one and uh, he used to be part of that too, so um, he is the, the chief of this and uh, we, uh, we just fall and help him to help other people. So if you have any questions, if you need any help by any means, please talk to me, David, Santa, or Susan at any time, all right? All right, so um, I'm not a professional speaker. I'm an investor. So I'm so sorry if something going on, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where's my queen cake? Oh, there you go, there you go. All right, guys, um, so today, Let's talk about rehab. Why I'm qualified to talk about rehab? Like I mentioned to y'all, I have been done many flippings and uh, I am a contractor. And uh, currently we have uh, two properties on the market. And uh, uh, just finally, thank God, sold one last week and uh, looking to start um, um, eight units and two, eight units, duplex units and uh, to um, residential, single family residential. So I'm looking to be kind of easy. If you guys pay attention, the market has been shifting a little bit. Used to be a lot of in many houses um, to, to do flippings, but now it's more people than houses. How many of y'all have seen that? Yeah, and me, I don't like to compete. All right? I, I personally don't like to compete. If you do good luck, I don't. I look for different ways to do money. I, as, as the market shift, I, I love to shift with the market. And also I love to, to invest in, in, in something, stuff that doesn't matter if the market go up or down, I always keep making money. For example, um, apartment complexes, rentals, depending on what the area, I like what they call war zone. How many of you all know that? I love that. That's the way the Santa met me the first time, I guess. You know, um, so I, I like to do that. Um, assisted living facilities. How many of y'all know anything about assisted living facilities? Here we go, one, two. So do you guys know that um, by 20, 20, 25, would be a up high at 30 more percent of the seniors that have no places to live? Now, if you go in any assisted living facilities around town, you can find a big and nice building, and they fee, they fees charge a minimum five thousand dollars. Now, the people, no, I'm sorry, not everybody can afford the five thousand dollars a month. So my fee is not at twenty five, and I still can help somebody and still make money. All right, so I like to do that. All right. Um, and it's my passion. Have been amazing, Jordan. All right. Um, let's keep going. Here we go. Um, like I mentioned, I have been doing a couple of flippings. This is some of my properties. If you guys came um, early um, on the slideshow, was a couple of my properties. Um, if you guys know. Mr. Santa Claus, he was um, my model on that one right there. <laughs> he was my model on that property, so uh, this was a property in West Ashley that um, I did a probably about four years ago. Um, I make a, a offer on this property and, uh, and the bank did accept it and I just filed my put on a file my, my contract. Eight months later, the bank called me and took my property. Now, the question is, what do you happen if I would just throw it away? And then I, the bank would win the case, right? Because they, they, they was asking the 140 for the property, and I ended up paying $80,000 on that property. So, never, never throw your, your um, contracts away, okay? 
A um, couple of months ago, I came in and gave a class about this. This is um, the budget, a budget for a, a flipping property. That's the construction right here. I mean, unfortunately, you guys can't see, cannot see pretty good. Um, but uh, that's, that's what the budget should look like, all right? So over here, I have uh, itemized everything um, that you're supposed to spend money on, on the construction. Now, it's kind of small, but uh, if you guys can email Susan, I can give you everybody um, a copy of that. But over here, it's pretty much itemized every single thing that you're gonna use on the property, all right? So, for example, like a sewage, um, water sewage, a concrete footings, if you need to put a concrete footing, um, garage door, garage floor, building permits, um, lumber, so if everything is itemized right there to be easy so you don't get lost, you don't get lost on the, on the construction. All right, this is my chart, guys. This is what I use on my properties. So what I do, every single property that I do, I print this and I put it on the wall. All right, you guys can steal my slide, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, that's okay. So, uh, this is my chart on the property. So every single, every single property that I'm doing, uh, put it down on the wall, so I know it's my map. It's a, what, what is the next thing to do with? Like that, you don't... I haven't seen all kind of people do all kind of flipping. I have seen people do it painting before the demolition and they already start to do it molding. I mean, it, it's crazy. And uh, I mean, I, I, I just be quiet because I don't want to offend anybody. But uh, if you do a painting before you finish your demolition, guess what's going to happen? I mean, it doesn't work well, right? And I haven't seen people do it cabinets before they finish with drywall. I mean, it's just insane. I mean, my, my way to see, I have, my background is construction, so that's, that's the way that kind of, I, I, I put together all my deals. All right? So, uh, let's start about uh, the, four, the first, first box right there. So, let's walk through how you flip a property. All right, or oh, not only flipping property, how you do a construction on any property. Let's say that you are an investor. You came to the Tri-County Invest Association, you learn how to do it, you find your own money. Find your money before you find the property. Amen on that? Find your money before you find the property. Because the property, after you put your name up there, you're gonna find properties right and left. Right, so find your money before you find the property, all right? And in the first two or three deals, don't mind if you don't make much money. On the first deal, in the last caravan that we had, I, was, you, I took everybody to two of my properties. And on the first two deals, you don't wanna make $100,000, guys, I'm sorry. On the first two deals, you don't wanna make much. Um, those that went to the house, my house in Summerview, Stanley was there. How many of y'all was on a caravan, last caravan? All right. Was a gentleman named Stanley over there. Um, I, was, I was teaching him how to do this. And uh, I just let him do it, what he wants to do, what he thought that was right. But uh, always watching him. So I did not allow him to do any crazy stuff. He will not lose money but he will not make the money that he thought he was gonna make. Is that okay with y'all? Is that okay? It's okay with me. On the first deal that I did, I remember the first deal that I did with somebody, I had the experience now, had the experience, I went to find a property, I helped to buy the property, found the lawyer, we did the closing, I fixed the property, found the buyer, sold the property, and I made $10,000. How many of y'all is willing to do that? Right. So this is what it happened. I did the first one. The second one, I did about 15. Because when I started, nobody knew me, right? Nobody knew me, so everybody wanna protect their money. Would you protect your money? Of course. So the guy kept 80% of the profit. 
I get only 20. I was okay with that. I want to keep my money there, my, 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 my name up there. Today, I keep 80. They keep 20. And they dying to give me money to, to invest for them. Because they know I have a record, and that's how you start. All right, so you find the property. So when you find the property, you already found the money. You go to your money guy, your investor, your bank, or what? Uh, uh, don't, don't go to banks. No. Listen, on this business over here, banks is harder to work with you. They might, but it's harder to work with you. You know? If you know a hard money lender, please find out, do a little research on them. Private lenders is the people that I work with. I love to deal with private lenders. Private lenders is people that have lots and lots of money on a bank, on a CD, or in a Roth IRA, or, or whatever, and they don't know what they're doing, but they want to keep making money, and they give you the money so they can invest, so you can invest, and then after you sell it, they give the money back. All right, so private money, I love to work with private money. Private money guys. Um, also, I, like, uh, I love to work with partners. Maybe you have a partner that you know somebody that want to flip a property. You know that they have the money, but they don't have the time to do it. Right? So you find the property, take these guys, and uh, if the property looks good, if I'll be you, I'll give you a chunk of the money to them, so they'll be really interested, be really interested for him. They, I'm sorry. Your English is horrible. <laughs> my Lord. <laughs> oh my so that will be interesting to them, right? Uh, so, you know, people love when they make money. So if they make, make more, the possibility for them to invest with you is bigger, right? I, I did it that a couple of times. So find somebody. Now, you might say, well, I don't know anybody that have money. I'm sorry, but you're in the wrong circle. You need to find the right circle. I, I'm sorry. I mean, it's just when I was with my bodies, I could I couldn't make this. Now, I mean, I have to learn. I, I have to learn how to walk seriously, how to close a door, how to do a business card. I pay, I pay for everything, guys. I came from another, another country. I mean, the culture is different, so I have to learn everything. So those that know the culture, know the country, and have me over here and grow and and, and born here have more possibilities to do this than anybody that comes out of the country, right? So that's not an excuse right there. So I had to learn everything, you know? So and I went to talk to the people that, that, that have money. I don't know how to play golf, and I'm never probably never be play golf, but those people know how to play golf, but they do other stuff too. They do it to other, they go to different meetings. They like to talk about deals. So, you know, I'm, <laughs> It's crazy, one day I was uh, around a bunch of millionaires, they was talk about um, Mercedes and Bentley's and they was asking, what do you think of your face? It's beautiful, it's nice, I love it. <laughs> like, I could, I could buy it, but uh, <laughs> on the reality, I couldn't. <laughs> Anyways, pretend, right? <laughs> so, so it, um, back on this, so this is, this is the, the chart that I use on my problems. If you look at the first box right there, guys, um, so, uh, I'm sorry, um, so you find the property, you found the money, you go into the closing, but when you go into the, before you go to the closing, it's a process that needs to be taken, right? And the process, you need to find insurance for the property, you need to find an insurance, you need to find out who is the, the company that, that you have to turn the water and, and sewage and power. So you need to do some work before the closing, right? Um, and then you go to the closing, scared to death. I know I haven't done that. I still scared when I'm going to close it. So, and then you get the shot and you put on your wall in the house and you start the process. All right, so in the first box over there, I have as a demolition. That's the demo. Now everybody say, oh, anybody can do demolition. And not everybody. One day, I, 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 me and Sena uh, was helping a church, 
And uh, Santa came to me and asked if I could help them on the construction with I agree. I went and took a roofing permit so they can do a roof. And I went about my business. When I received a call from the Somerville, um, Somerville inspector, asked me what happened on my roof. I said, the roof is there. They're changing the roof. I said, no. What happened to your roof? The roof is there, ma'am. The roof is there. <laughs> no, sir. Mr. Silva has no roof today. They removed the trusses. They removed the, the everything. <laughs> everything. Right? They removed everything, guys. So not everybody can do a demolition. And thank goodness they did take the trust off because they went inside and took all the, all the walls out. Yeah, they <laughs> took all the walls. It was a roof permit. And they took everything out, out inside. So not everybody can know how to do a demolition. All right? So when you do a demolition, this is what you demo. If you have a good imagination, flipping properties is the best deal for y'all. I love to go in a house by myself on the morning and just walk the property and just see what I can do on that property. Sometimes you come with so, so, so many crazy ideas and uh, when people tell you that it will never work, you make it work. At least that happened to me, you know? Uh, one of the properties that we went to on the caravan, the first one, everybody told me that I, I would not make enough money like I want because it was harder to do it, an, an actual bedroom, bathroom. And uh, guess what? I did an actual bathroom. So you just need to sit on a property and uh, look around and just imagine. I recommend everybody to do that. So that's what you do on demolition. You're gonna demo drywall when, when it needs to be demo. Not the whole drywall on the house, please, okay? Carpet, you stick in the carpet. Now, this is my criteria, guys. This is me doing my, this is me doing rehab, okay? Your criteria might be different. So I do it, my house, I do it nice. My houses are sexy. When I sell it, they love it. I want to get the wow factor when the buyer come on my property. Right, so I change, I change everything that I can change. But now my prices, my subcontractor prices allow me to do that. You know, where I buy my supplies, they allow me to do that because I buy cheap. Maybe for y'all be a little bit different. All right, so you just need to go around and research your prices. So when I do my houses, this is my demo. Drywall, I do it. I take it out all the carpet, all the outlets and switches, covers, not the outlets itself. All right, just the covers. Why I say just the covers now? Because it, sometimes you'll see a three-way or a four-way, and if you take that baby out, it will be harder for you to put it back. You know, and guess how I know that? <laughs> right? Yeah. So, and, and Stanley did that. Stanley did that, right? I'll let him do it just so, yeah. <laughs> I'll let him do it just so he see. So, just the covers, okay? Do not take the lot the, the, the switches and lot outlets of the of the walls yet. Just the covers, okay? Light features, all the blinds, window blinds, all the toilets, please don't keep old toilets. It's not sexy. <laughs> Alright? All the seats and cabinets. And the popcorn seats. Now, popcorn seats, this is again, this is me. If I'm gonna sell the house, oh before. Uh, under $200,000, I do not remove the popcorn ceilings. If I'm going to sell the house over $200,000, I remove the popcorn ceilings. Right? But now, if you don't want to sell the house over $200,000 and you're going to keep the popcorn, please do not paint the popcorn with oil based paint. Right? Do, and do everybody understand that? No? Okay, it's two kinds of paint. Water-based paint and oil-based paint. Oil-based paint usually smells very, very bad. And water-based doesn't smell that bad. 
So do not never, never paint your ceiling with oil-based paint. Okay? It'll be good for you guys to write out that. <laughs> write it out. And when you go to Sherry Williams, just say, listen, I don't want oil-based paint for anything unless you're gonna paint um, doors or tree. Then you use that, all right? So that's what I do on my demo. So sometimes people go inside of a house and a demo everything that they can, they, they, that will be nice for them because uh, they think that they're gonna live on a problem. All right, so it's for me, some specific stuff that I demo, some stuff I leave it because uh, you can fix it, right? So, when you're gonna change your windows or replace windows, you don't need to take and demo all the trim around the windows, all right? Now, if the property, to everybody, everybody look at me like, a, what the heck he's talking about? Do you, do you, everybody understand what I'm saying? Are oh, you understand the work of my mom? Alright, so yes ma'am. So are you talking about the exterior trim or interior? Interior trim. Interior. Yes, ma'am. Now exterior trim I would exchange only if it's rotten wood. Only. Or if it's something crazy done. Maybe crazy two by four that they wanna do with some kind of ornamental. I mean I have seen all kind of things. So <laughs> You know, when you do a construction, you just need to do it. You're not, 